What's up guys? Big D Wiz here. Got a fun one for you today. We have a dino drag of two $100 amplifiers. Let's find out what they are and see what they do. Stay tuned. You big dummy. My name is Derek and I do YouTube videos about audio equipment. Videos about audio. I know it doesn't make sense, but if you guys enjoy that type of stuff, you might enjoy subscribing to my channel and I'd appreciate it. So stick around for the cool content and don't be surprised if you see a big dummy. So the two most popular types of videos I do are cheap amplifiers and also amplifier dyno drag races. So why not bring the two together is what I thought. So today we're gonna to take a look at the Ignite R3000-1D and the Boss AR4000D. These are right around 100 bucks. First up, let's show off the Boss AR4000D. Is it the Boss of Cheap Amps? Well, you guys may have seen, I've already done a video on this a few months ago. It's got a lot of views, 325,000 views, so a lot of demand for these cheap amps. So. Go back and watch that video if you haven't seen it yet. So the price has jumped a little bit to $109.99. It was $99.99 a few months ago when I tested it, but you know how it is. Sometimes prices go up when things start selling well. On one end of the amplifier, you can see we have one speaker output. We have three 40 amp fuses. And then we have the connection for the battery, remote, and ground. On the opposite side, we have sensitivity, master slave switch, level control, subsonic filter. Then we have a linking connection between the two amps. We have the inputs and outputs for RCAs, low pass filter, remote subwoofer level control, bass boost and phase selector. And on the far right, we have power and protection LEDs. The boss does come with a cheapo plastic remote bass knob. It does have the telephone style connector, so at least it will not come apart. And it comes with plenty of cable to make it to the back of your car. And here on the boss site, you can see the ratings. What a joke. 3000 times one RMS at one ohm, 1500 times one RMS at two ohms. We need our friend here to tell us what he thinks about that. Thanks, Big D, this is Dick Ridiculous. All right, next up, we're looking at the Ignite R3000 slash 1D, AKA the Ignite 6K. And again, I've tested the smaller version, the Ignite 4K on my YouTube channel. So check the video description or the card above, see how it did, it actually did pretty well. Had a lot of good feedback, so we decided we would bring Ignite back, see if it could live up to its name or see if it could beat the boss. So here on Amazon, the Ignite is $99.99, free shipping for those who have Prime, get it in a couple of days. Let's check out the connections. On one end, you have the spade terminals for ground remote 12 volt. Just like the Boss, you have three 40 amp fuses, but you have two speaker outputs on the Ignite, whereas the Boss only has one. Here is that end of the amplifier. You can see the power protection light there as well. You will need to use spade connectors here, friends. On the opposite end, you do have connections for line input, line output. The amp amplifier is strappable. There's the gain, bass boost, low pass filter, adjustable subsonic, which is nice, and adjustable phase shift. In addition, the Ignite does come with a remote base level connection too. It's also connected via a telephone style connector. You can see very nice actual all metal base knob here. It does have a power LED light on it as well. And it also comes with plenty of cable to make it to the back or front of your vehicle. Now, if you ignore the 6,000 watts that's all over the box, you can see the RMS ratings here, 420 at 4 ohms, 720 at 2 ohms, and 1020 at 1 ohm. Now, the dimensions are 16 inches by 9 inches by 2 inches. Now, if you want to see the guts of these amps, make sure you stick around till after the dyno drag. Let's fire up that amp dyno, though. Get these amps strapped up. Ready to go. You guys ready for a little dino drag action? Well, you know what? Here it comes. All 
right, so we got the batteries topped off there with the charger. I'll go ahead and power these bad boys up. I've got the uh, remote base knob hooked up on both of them. The Ignite does have this nice little status LED. Let's do all three tests at one ohm. Let's start off with certified at one ohm. Now, the Ignite is channel one. The Boss is channel two. 40 hertz track, 1% THD at one ohm. Let's we'll see which one is the king. Oh, looks like Ignite is igniting the fires here. 1,111 watts versus 886. Whoa. Boss, you got some competition here. Ignite, kicking it. Yo, geez, Big D here. Got two $100 amplifiers. Got these both off Amazon. The Ignite R3001D, or AKA 6K. The Boss AR4000D. You guys have seen me test that one before. Today we're gonna check out uncertified run at one ohm. This is up to clipping. The Ignite is channel one. The Boss is channel two. Let's see which one is the king daddy. All right, so they're very, very, very close. 1,122 to 1,097. Virtually identical. Right now, let's run the dynamic test at one ohm, see which one is better dynamically. Ignite channel one, boss channel two. And big dummy chose the wrong track. <laughs> you big dummy. Let's get back. All right, reset the dyno, reset the track. Here we go. Track one, dynamic burst, 40 hertz. Ignite, channel one, boss channel two. Whoa, boss comes back for a win at the end. 11.83 for the Ignite, 11.88 for the Boss. That, my friends, is a close dino drag battle. Alright, so as you can see, the one ohm tests were pretty close there in the uncertified test and the dynamic test. But now let's talk about what's inside the amps. So here are the guts. The boss is on the right, the Ignite's on the left. You can see the little bit different design. The boss does use a two-sided circuit board, has some surface mount devices, whereas the Ignite here is a little different, doesn't have quite as many caps, doesn't have the B plus filtering that is on the boss. So what I decided to do was post up on Facebook to ask some of my friends who are amplifier technicians and who know a lot more about amplifiers than me, you know, which one would you prefer? We know both of these are very cheap. Both of them are kind of throwaway amps if they break. So I decided, let me ask these guys, see what they think about these two amps without giving them the power output or anything like that. So I posted on Facebook, said, which design do you prefer? And here are some of the results of what people said. First up, brother Shane says he'd take a double-sided board any day over a single-sided board. Okay, uh, Sam says he would say the right, which is the boss, but he doesn't like the driver board. Uh, it's very unreliable and a nightmare to repair. But then he says, I probably choose the left because it's simpler and thinks that it may last longer. Ethan says he's not really familiar with the design on the left, but the one on the right is using different amps and is straight up hot garbage. So then we got a comment from Mr. Demore and Mr. Rodriguez. And both, both of them agree the boss is the boss here. So, what do you say about that, boss? Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Make sure you check out my podcast with my brother Hi-Fi Vega called 12 Volt Talk. 
youtube.com slash 12 e talk we're also on facebook instagram live show every wednesday night at 8 p.m eastern check us out all right so now let's talk about the results of the ignite versus the boss dino drag battle you can pause this at any time but here we didn't show the two ohm test you can see the boss was the boss of the two ohm test it beat the ignite in every single two ohm test the one ohm test really went to the ignite overall because it beat it certified by quite a bit beat the boss certified so again friends these are inexpensive amps the gain adjustments were very touchy especially with the ignite so you know these are good starter amps but you know you obviously don't want to waste your money on something like this if you're serious in the car audio this is for the guys who just want a little bang you know for a little bit of money and then maybe either move on to something bigger and better or maybe you're just not into car audio anymore after these for those who want to see the extra tests including all the way down to a half an ohm make sure you check out my patreon page patreon.com slash old school stereo big d whiz i'm gonna hear you. so i know a lot of you have heard about the oss meet in scurry texas i'm actually working on the video but unfortunately the savard excursion killed my microphone here is the reason why it killed my microphone, but the video is coming. Make sure you go back and check my videos. I've got over 500 videos here on YouTube, many of them car audio related. As always, thanks for watching my videos, for liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing with your friends, share with your grandma, share with everybody. Big D Wiz, signing out.